What does it mean to let go of littleness and to step into magnitude? Well, let's look at something called the dreamer of the dream versus the dream figure. If you are identified with the body, you are identified with the figure in the dream. If you're so concerned and obsessed about this personality self, this figure in the dream, you're not really aware that you're dreaming. If you were aware that you're dreaming, whatever that figure did would be just laughable because you would know it's just a dream. Merrily, 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 you would know that that figure was just a dream figure. But if you forgive, you come into a consistent experience that you are the dreamer of the dream. The awareness of dreaming is the function of God's teachers. I'm going to say it again, because it's very important. The awareness of dreaming is the function of God's teachers. You cannot escape from a dream until you see, first of all, that you are the dreamer of the dream. Why? Because you have to come back to causation. The mind is causative. If you believe that there are certain foods that can harm you and kill you, you believe in false cause and effect. If you believe that there are certain conditions in the world that can harm you and kill you, that's false cause and effect. If you believe anything outside of you can harm you in any way, you believe in false cause and effect. That's the only problem there is, is this ego belief that it's possible to separate from God and then to buy into the trickery of this ego world, ego time-space world, that there are really causes and effects. Even when Jesus was supposedly captured, turned into the authorities, and threatened, Jesus knew you can have no power over me. He, he wasn't even speaking to defend anything that was occurring because he knew he was not of time and space. He was the I amness. He wasn't bothered by threats. What's the big deal when there's no hero of the dream? When you are the I am that I am, when you are before time and space, when you are existing as perfect spirit at one with God, what concern would you have with anything in time and space?